What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Asta Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. Child, even though this men DC situation has calmed down a little bit, I still want to come on here and give y'all this last little bit of juice. Y'all know we get every drop from the bottle. Okay, so do you guys remember when I told you that Yandy and Mona Scott were very good friends? Well, when it came out that Yandy and Mendeecees were not really married, a lot of people were coming down on Mona. Everybody and their mama was saying that since Mona actually produced their wedding show, that she had to know the truth about that marriage. But of course, Mona denied the whole thing. In fact, she claims that she had no clue that Yandy and and DC's weren't married and even Erica Mena called her out on her BS. Erica Mena says lies just like she didn't know. Never mind. Let me just go back to sleep. Child, now you know it's bad when Erica Mena calls y'all out for lying. Cause y'all know Erica will shoot you a quick one in a minute. Anyway, but all this just plays into what me and DC's baby mamas were saying about the show. That Mona basically edited everything to make them look like bitter baby mamas while at the same time making Yandy look like a classy loving wife. So so I guess Erica D got fed up and decided to expose the situation for what it really was. And released these photos exposing the inside of Yandy's apartment. Mm -mm. Child, let me clutch my pearls and gather myself. But anyway, child, Erica explains why she exposes Yandy. She says, this is why my child can't be around the phoniness, lies, and jealousy. I play nice long enough. This is what happens when a miserable, desperate, pathological liar who lives in a dirty Bronx apartment with a revolving door for every man in the tri-state to come in and out gets mad because her alleged husband moves his clothes and belongings out of her apartment and back into his is because the cameras are turning off as he's turning himself in and never trusted her from the gate when you're so pressed about the ex-woman not being bitter and being able to co-parent peacefully and still get along with her child's father and never want or need child support what kind of good woman would use the kids own family to co-sign their lives but before the show you couldn't stand them you do it for the cameras i do it for my son you never got the history the house or the happiness so you'll take the risk of doing damage to yourself by illegally changing my and my son's locks which i'm still in if it was in her name or he gave her the keys why go through these extremes your time is up and by the way i never kept my son away i'm the one that always included all the kids mm -mm, child i cannot wait to read y'all comments on this situation here yeah. but child now y'all know a man's my business but i just want to say this all of his baby mamas need to chill out knowing doggone well he has eight whole years left before they mess around and be adding a baby daddy to the mix moving on well i'm definitely gonna need you guys opinions in this situation because y'all know i don't get in other people's business like that well we're about to be out of here but before we go we want you guys to leave us a like and remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around and don't be shy leave us your opinions in the comments good bad or indifferent i love them all and with that being said you guys we are out of here